Hi, my name is Liz Lundry. I'm a hygienist and I'm also the clinical education manager for Stella Life. And I want to welcome you to our first Facebook Live event. And tonight I'm gonna to be sharing some information with you about how we can boost our immune system during this really challenging time. So we're stuck in our homes, we're in this quarantine phase for who knows how long, and we can take this as an opportunity to develop some new habits that will strengthen our lives throughout our lives so we can remain healthy, especially at this time. So I'm going to be talking about a three-pronged approach to boosting our immune system. And if we can develop these habits, we'll have long-time benefits from this. So number one, I'm gonna look at nutrition. We're also gonna talk about rejuvenation and rest and then stress management and how we can manage that in our daily lives, which we're under so much of that right now. So as far as our nutrition is concerned, we all know that eating right is important. And we also know from a lot of research that's been done, uh, one study that was done and published by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition has demonstrated that even a mild deficiency in certain micronutrients and vitamins can definitely impact a reduction of the strength of your immune system. So at this time, eating healthy is key. Taking some really good supplements is helpful too. But as we go around the supermarkets and we're wearing our masks and our gloves and being super careful to keep social distance between the other shoppers, we are often finding, I know I've seen that there have been like very few canned goods and frozen foods available. And that's a good thing because I'm seeing that the produce section is full of a wonderful selection of vegetables and fruits. So this is a great time to maybe develop our cooking skills so that we can eat more vegetables. Having more of a plant-based diet is found to reduce inflammation. And anytime that we increase inflammation, we also are reducing the effectiveness of our immune system. So again, eating anti-inflammatory foods is key. So even though grains are plant-based, grains often cause inflammation. So we wanna limit our intake of that. Animal products as well have been found to be linked with inflammation. So when we're going to be having fish or any other types of meats, we wanna make sure they're good, healthy ones. And again, make that not be the largest component of our daily intake of foods. So if you're not really a big fan of vegetables, this is a really good time to, again, develop your cuisine. Um, I believe in adding garlic and olive oil to everything, makes everything taste delicious, um, maybe some ginger. So a good time to find some good recipes online and experiment so you can develop a really good appreciation and look forward to those healthy meals with lots of vegetables. Fruits are important, but fruits do have a lot of sugar, even though it's natural and that does cause inflammation. So we want to limit uh, the amount of fruit that we're eating. It does make a great dessert, you know, with in moderation. And when we're eating fruits and vegetables, we want to have a broad spectrum of them, all the different colors, because you get different antioxidants from each ones. And we all need a great selection and variety of antioxidants to make sure that our body functions properly and again keeps our immune system strong. So uh, that would be my advice and again uh, we know from studies that were done uh, that anytime that we do any overeating that is also going to have a negative impact on our immune system. So binging at this time is very tempting, I know, but it's something that we should try to avoid. Again, developing good habits. So uh, let's look at our diets. And we also need to look at our level of rest and sleep. We are a sleep deprived society. And uh, it's really a huge problem. I know that uh, I went through many, many years of getting by on just five, six hours of sleep thinking that was all I needed, but I did notice I was tired most of the time. So recently I read this amazing book, which I think now that we have some reading time, you can get this online from Dr. Matthew Walker. He's been doing sleep research for over 20 years and it's a phenomenal book. It's a New York Times bestseller and it changed my life. And there's some great information in there about what happens during the different phases of sleep and why it's really important. It's critical to give yourself that seven to eight hour sleep opportunity every day. And since I've done that, I'm just a much more effective human Everything I do is going better and I just feel happier overall. It's really helped with my moods and my appetite control, everything. So it's a gift that you can give yourself. Uh, please read the book. Uh, some important facts about immune system. We know that if you only get five hours of sleep, 
for just five nights in a row, that actually makes your immune system 50% less effective. I mean, that's how I got through college. It's amazing that I survived, but this is what we need to reflect on. And again, since we don't have to have that commute time, even though we may be working all day in our home offices, we can definitely work on trying to get that sleep time to be a good opportunity now. So uh, no more Netflix binging all night, right? Try to get yourself that time to, to feel really good. And then we have the stress. We're exposed to so much, so much of it, even though we're at home now. Uh, the news is very stressful, and many of us were kind of addicted to listening to the news all day long. And that's not going to be good for our minds. It's not going to be good for our immune system because stress also reduces the effectiveness of our immune system. So uh, we should limit that viewing of the news about the pandemic that's going on right now. Maybe get a quick update in the morning and later on in the day, but no more than 15 minutes of that is recommended. And that's also recommended by the World Health Organization. So, you know, let's keep that down to a minute. Just stay on top of what you need to know. And uh, then try to incorporate things that make you feel good every day. Take a hot bath, play music, do something fun. If you can, get out for a walk, incorporate some exercise every day. Uh, don't spend more than a half hour sitting. Try to move around for after 30 minutes of sitting for at least a couple of minutes. Uh, these are all things that'll help with stress. Breathing exercises or doing yoga or singing, even if you're not a good singer, just put on some music, sing along with it. That breathing and uh, repetitive prayer or singing, all of these things would help with oxygenation of your brain and body, and it'll help also to reduce stress. So some of us are in quarantine by ourselves because we're single and this can be a very lonely time so it's a great time to reach out to friends you haven't contacted in a long time uh, i have a good friend who is single and she was feeling kind of blue so we actually did a, a virtual happy hour last week last friday and that was really a ton of fun with a few friends so that's something that you can think about and as we're doing that i'm talking about happy hour uh, one great recommendation is that if you like wine, Pinot Noir has got the highest amount of antioxidants in it, so a good healthy choice. And another favorite of mine for antioxidants is dark chocolate. Uh, so in fact, these two together make a really nice dessert. <laughs> so I love this stuff. I wanted to share that with you. So do things that are fun that you enjoy. And with our relationships, if we're alone, reach out to others. There's so many people that want to connect right now. And if you're together with your family, it's great that we're together, but that can also be stressful, especially if you have kids, you're homeschooling them, and maybe you're working at the same time. So take a breath, let's embrace this time that we have together. And even when we don't feel very happy, if you smile, it actually uh, increase, starts a um, chemical release in your body of feel good chemicals that are going to make you feel better. In, after a while, you will notice that you're not as blue anymore or as angry. So let's use some deep breathing and really try to be kind to each other. Uh, I know I've heard that there are some couples that are actually going through a breakup, but now they're stuck together at home until the end of shelter in place. So for those of you in that position, our hearts go out to you. Uh, try to be kind to each other. And whatever happens in the future with these relationships, if we can establish a good dialogue now and have some kind of a nice, kind relationship with each other, that's going to help us in the future. So uh, good luck to all of you and all of us while we're going through this difficult time. At Stella Life, we are uh, on a mission to improve people's lives. And we are going to be holding these weekly Facebook live events with experts in many fields and people that can encourage us to some of the top educators and clinicians in dentistry and other fields as well. So please join us as we do these week to week. And again, we wish you all the best during this time. Thank you so much.